At some point in the life of the heliporter, it may be necessary to replace the hydraulic pump assembly. You can order one from Paravian, and this is what you should receive. It'll look just like this. Uh, pretty much complete, ready to install. So to install it, the first thing we want to do is disconnect the battery cables. Then we will disconnect the wires, noting which wire goes where. And uh, a thing that I like to do is take a picture of them before I uh, disconnect them, just so I can uh, refer to it later on. Or you can use this video. You can see that this is a small black wire goes here. There's a white wire and a large black wire go here that runs up to the battery. And this wire here goes to ground. These two wires will be delivered with the new system. Okay, we'll need to remove these two connections here, these two fittings. But prior to do that, doing that we want to make note of where the lines go. And you can either mark them or just remember what I say is the top one goes around and comes up to the left side of the valve. The bottom one comes around and goes to the right side of the valve. Okay, when you do this you're going to lose just a little bit of fluid. Now it's the fluid that's the residual in the pump and the residual in the lines. The fluid in the tank will remain in the tank. So it's best to put a pan or some, something under to catch the fluid. Remove the two lines. Now we remove the two bolts that hold the pump assembly to the frame. We take it off, we get our new one, we bring it over, we put it in position, and replace our bolts, tighten them down, and replace our hydraulic lines, remembering the top one comes from the left side of the valve to the top, the bottom one from the right side of the valve to the bottom. Okay, now we replace our electrical wires. And we can refer to uh, our diagram, refer to uh, our photo, however we want to remember how we did that. Uh, make sure we get them in the right place. If we don't, it's probably not going to work well. Okay, now we'll put our connections back on our battery. And we're ready to uh, operate it uh, once we put some oil in it. The unit operates on standard 10W30 motor oil. And we never want to add more than two-thirds full in the tank. If we do, it's possible that the oil will blow out through the breather cap. And we don't want that to happen. It's kind of messy. So we add oil, bring it up two-thirds full, put the cap on. And now we're going to run the unit to get any air uh, circulated uh, back into the tank and out through the breather cap. So the first thing we'll do is apply the electric switch to run the motor. We'll raise the platform up. We can lower it. And we'll want to do this several times, up and down. Okay. And the same for the wheel motors. Run it forward, run it back. Do it two or three times. Okay. Now, there's a good chance that our fluid level has gone down because we've now refilled these two lines and refilled the pump. So, we can take a little flashlight and look down in there and see where the oil level is. Bring it back to the two-thirds level. Then you might want to do this again to ensure that you get all the air out of the system. And once the system is running without any hesitation and you hear no air blowing back in the tank, you've probably gotten most all the air out of it and it should function properly.